happiness through curiosity on TRS clips interviewing taliban commanders was such mm. you're shitting in your pants right like you don't know what's going to happen because you've heard that these guys are really really nasty characters they probably are but they're kind of on their i guess on their best behavior for you or maybe it's just normal behavior i don't know because you're indian uh yeah and surprisingly that was the case you know there was absolutely no hatred towards india even amongst the taliban like you know when i'd bring up uh uh pakistan they'd almost always go <laughs> because they hated pakistan these were people who were literally hakani network which is one wing of the uh, uh uh taliban or quetta shura which is the other wing i don't know which one they were because there was kind of a linguistic problem it was all done through interpreters uh, they think they can speak hindi they their hindi is kind of unintelligible to us i mean they think they're speaking hindi but it's not hindi um their families have been held hostage by the isi uh, you know they're told to do certain things because of the isi but their own view isn't beyond their area how have their families been held hostage by the isi because they all uh, went over the border uh, to avoid the american bombing or an american pacification campaign or whatever and uh, the pakistanis always knew who the taliban were so they'd keep your family and hold them as hostages kind of i mean very comfortable hostage situation but hostages nevertheless sure to ensure that you behave and do what the pakistanis want you to do right and this was chronic and you know they actually have a great sense of being afghan there's a great pride in being afghan and they don't like a, a foreign country as they see it interfering in their affairs whereas all i ever encountered f- for india except maybe in kandahar kandahar was the one exception uh was a whole load of affection for india to be fair all these interviews were con- uh, uh, conducted in uh, when i was high on hashish uh, <laughs> so you know because it's a cultural thing out yeah, there yeah 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 so you know if you go interview them uh you will start by smoking i think it's a hookah i mean it's some something chillum where, like an afghani chillum ha huh, kind of i mean it's somewhere between a hookah and a chillum uh where you have hashish right and the thing is there's always one guy with a ak47 or ak74 nice. whatever standing there <laughs> to see if you're drugged up enough to break the ice to break the ice because see that is how trust is built in their society we both have hash and there is this bonding like bros uh, uh, kind of whatever bro just uh, get the chill i'm sorry no 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 i didn't got it i'm sorry go on <laughs> uh, and uh it's it, it's 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 so cultural out there you know it's like it, it's almost like here you know you bring out the coffee or the uh, mithai or whatever when somebody comes there it's like okay you want to have a serious chat let's get the hash out first um i mean it was i'm not going to do it again but it was fun and uh, were you scared for your life that maybe when you're high on hash they'll just shoot you with the ak47 in the first four or five times i was very very scared because you you know my first encounter so the first 7 days were being a tourist in afghanistan right so from my first encounter with the taliban proper was in mazari sharif going to the city of balk balk is an old ruined city so it was sacked by timur it was sacked by genghis khan and it's a lovely walled city it's also where alexander's wife roxan came from and it's also apparently where zoroaster was born so uh, on our way to balk is this thing called the no gumbad masjid uh the mosque of nine domes which was a uh uh zorast uh, which was a buddhist uh, uh stupa or something before and before that it was a zoroastrian fire temple and the guy there the caretaker there he um, he lost his entire family sometime during the war and all he does is he caretakes that uh mosque it's a, it's in ruins but he caretakes it and he grows his own poppies and hash and things like that and so that was the first time i tried hash and on route to bulk there was suddenly this the army checkpoints ended and the taliban checkpoints started and that's where they were you know with ak47s out there and you just know these guys are not army what's the vibe generally uh 
our driver was quite relaxed. I was not. I was on, I had never had a high like that, right? That hash high kind of thing. Uh, so for me, my memory is very lucid. I was on one hand, I was like holding my sphincter in. I was like <laughs> absolutely sure I was going to shit my pants at any point. But I was also kind of uh, very excited. Uh, there's that thrill in danger as well. I mean, kind of. I mean, uh, I, it's, there's no real way to describe it. It's S N M vacations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh I guess it's one of those full-on BDSM uh, uh, moments, Life right? BDSM. The high from the pain kind of thing, or the high from the danger in this case kind of thing. I, I meant, what's the vibe of those guys? Like when I'm sure when you look they, at them, in they're the eye. quite relaxed. Okay, they're quite relaxed, right? They, they're not on edge. Mm. Um, and the first four or five interviews were quite intimidating. Like, as in, I was like, uh, the hash went a long way calming me down. Um, so that was there. But then in Kandahar, it was, it became a very nasty situation because when I landed, uh, you know, there was this, uh, the uh, guard that I'd hired, he heard on the radio chatter that there's an Indian in town. And that became a thing in Kandahar. So I had to be, Evacuated. Why? Uh, I don't know why. Kandahar was the only city I found that was quite hostile. I couldn't stay. I was in Kandahar for all of three, four hours before uh, the local commander out there sent whatever to pick me up. To And at that point, I didn't know if this was a setup or something where I'd be kidnapped and taken and uh, found with my head chopped off. Like uh, You visualize that? Yeah, till you realize they've got a very strict honor code. They've got a very, very strict honor code about these things. About any killing that they'll carry out? Well, about giving you their word and their secure, uh, saying that you're secure kind of thing. So the Taliban in parts of Afghanistan minus Kandahar told you that, listen, you'll be safe. So even in Kandahar, I was probably safe. The thing was, everybody was talking about an Indian who had come. Why? I don't know. Maybe the airport authorities leaked it or something trying to stir up mischief. I, I still don't know. But so what if you're Indian? It becomes an issue because then they kidnap you. For money? Uh, for money or okay. what? I mean, you don't know what they kidnap you for, right? It's, it's, it, it's a very disorganized kind of thing. So there'll be uh, uh, wheels within wheels who'd want you for money or to, uh, you know. They'll uh, make you build a robotic suit. For their, no, I'm yeah. kidding. <laughs> no, not that I'm a scientist or anything. That robotic suit will be a gift for their enemies because uh. it'll be like, it'll break down every like uh. five seconds. <laughs> but um, I did at that, I, I don't think I've panicked as much as I did at that point of thing. And a lot of it was the stimuli coming with, you know, my driver and the guard telling me to get the f*** out. If you hadn't gone, what would have happened? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. With the benefit of hindsight, it's very easy to say probably nothing. But then, you know, you never really know. You intuitively felt like your life was in danger. I panicked. Okay. I, I, I still remember I couldn't think straight. Uh, I wasn't screaming or going hysterical or anything. Because when I panic, I kind of lock down and go very, very quiet. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to TRS Clips for more.